Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Sam is Slam here. Welcome back to a brand new Slammed Movie Review. Now, this was supposed to be a horror movie marathon. Well, I've still, I am been, I've been procrastinating once again. But we're here for another horror movie, per se. We are here for a, the 2015 Israeli supernatural horror film, Jeru, I can't say Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, or whatever. I got this ugly-ass black head, by the way. Sorry. But, Jerusalem. I can't say the word. Jer Jerusalem. 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 I can't even... Jer Jerusalem. I don't care. I can't even spell it up right. But, um, I thought... You know, before we talk about this film, I thought this was a World War Z ripoff. Because with the Z... Like the Z in the middle, I thought, because of World War Z. No. I mean, you have zombie-like... They're not even traditional... They're more demons than more uh, zombies. Uh, or mixture between demon and a zombie. Uh, they're more like fallen angels. Um, but we're here for this film. It's 2015. This is written and directed by Doron and Yo Yoav Pez. Um, and the English, Engl the English language actors is, stars Yalu Grablalos. Yeah, I don't know what the fucking names are in this one's a bitch. But let's just let's just talk about the film real quick before I spoil it and shit. You know, this film here, this is another, this is a, another kind of found footage kind of way, but they're incorporating the Google Lens. I'm trying to think. Google Glass. Never mind. Google Glass. So they in this movie they use the Google Glass as the POV narrative. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know. And and actually, you know, before this movie, when we when I watched the movie Host, the little under an hour movie Host, this was more enjoyable than Host. Maybe because Host was that damn webcam zoom call. Compared to a POV style. Um, but this right here. You got two fucking. Like. Bitches. You know and this is going to be a shitty fucking review. I'm sorry but I didn't really care. Um, I was going to give this a, a neutral. A nod. But this is a thumbs down movie for me. I just don't really care. I mean, because the people are stupid in this fucking film. But supposedly, I'm going to read you the synopsis. Like, in 1972, two priests are called to re record an event at Jerusalem. It is revealed that Jewish, Muslim, Christian priests were all called to perform an exorcism on a woman who died three days before. Her son claims she was calm at first, but then returned from the grave. And then you see that um, they kill her with the derringer. derringer. No. But they shot her. And the boy watch. And the guy, the boy who is a man who is mentally deranged, he's in this too. And I just guess, like, I bet that's the boy. And then they're like, you're that boy. <laughs> but, you know, it has these two, let's just do it in my narrative. You got these two, you got these two bitches who are going to go to Tel Aviv. Sorry, I came in here. T-E-L-A-V-I-V. I came in, I can't pronounce it right, sorry. But they want to go plan a party, you know. But then they end up meeting up with this guy, like Indiana Jones. They meet up with uh, Kevin Reed. That's his name on here. And he invites them. He invites them to go to Jerusalem. And there go. The, Rachel is the, the, she's not the main chick, but the real chick is, uh, is Sarah, played by Danielle Jadlin. So Sarah's the main character. Rachel's her her best friend, whatever. And then she has her boyfriend, we don't care about, because he was just a fucking pff, an extra. And this bitch is already, she's fucking with people. She's fucking different guys at the fucking party. Or whatever the fuck. It's like, okay, yeah. Tells you the eyes of, oh, I want to go party. And then you fucking fuck around behind your boyfriend's back. More, she's just using him so she's just a dick. Um, 
Rachel sh- or, or no, uh, Sarah, she is she gets. But the thing is, though, I'm going back. I'm going back and forth with this shit. She gets these Google Glass from her dad. You don't really have a good explanation of. You can see that they are very close. Her brother died, and she's grieving still for it. There was like an accident and everything. But the thing is, though. The main story is they go to Jerusalem and then they meet up with these other guys, which th- this hotel, which uh, Omar, played by Tom Grizzani, and you also had uh, Fazi uh, was his dad. So you have there. So the main thing is at this hotel, uh, this this hostel kind of hotel area, and yada yada they party yada yada, and. You like um, Sarah, you know she's pretty, she's awesome. But they had these moments where the first moment, like of despair, was her bag getting stolen by this little boy, which was kind of fucking funny in a way. Uh, but that was the first thing. But forty after forty one minutes, and, and also too, you meet up with uh, Yuhaida, Yuhaida. I'm not gonna say his name, but the, you meet, they meet up with Yuhaida and Tomer. They're basically the army. They're just these, these two soldiers of the army with looking near, and Omar and Fazi doesn't like them because they, they're like, I don't know how to fucking say it, but they watch out their hotel and clubs or whatever. But uh, thank God, my fucking computer's taking a shit. I don't know why the fuck. But other than that. It's just everything. It's just they have these parties. Yada yada. She, Sarah's about to fucking suck Kevin's dick, and she, he she got he's got her Google Glass on, and and she he sees all their pictures and stuff. And there's a picture with her brother and her, and he said, "Who's the who's the fucking douche in this the thing?" And she's about to suck his dick and shit. And then he just basically cock blocked himself because who the fuck would want to say that anyway? Like, oh, is that your ex boyfriend? No, you gotta say douche. And that was like, man, you're about to get your damn dick sucked. And then this, look what happened. But the thing is now, they're fucking stupid. They really are. And then 41 minutes, well, Kevin sees these signs of something's going on. And then he gets into the loony bin, supposedly. The fucking loony bin of all places. And then now we're going, we're getting into this fucking damn, it starts 41 minutes. This is a 90-something minute movie. Let's see what it is. Uh, it's 94 minutes, but it's like Armageddon, but it's not really. It's just these fucking fallen angel demons coming in, and they're these fallen angels. That's what the fuck they are. And I don't, I'm just like, eh, I don't really care. There wasn't really, like, the traditional zombie. It was basically just a fallen angel demon. So, but... You gotta be fucking kidding me. This fucking thing is pissing me off. But Tana's here. My friend's here. Um, but no, I didn't care. Um, then all hell breaks loose. You know, it, you have the boy, you have Omar, you have his father, Fozzie. You got the uh, the two soldiers. And Ke- they, they rescue Kevin. Well, her by herself, they get in this loony bin. So he goes back and forth. It's, I, I don't really care. And then at the end of the thing, oh, yeah, Rachel, she gets fucking the, the blonde bimbo bitch. She fucking gets uh, infected with this shit, and they want to keep bringing her on. Kill the bitch. Oh, it's everything that's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. No, she's not, you stupid bitch. Fucking kill the fucking cunt. And, no. But then they try to get out. They're locked out of this fucking city, and they need to get out. And then you find out this, there's this mentor deranged guy. Oh, they have all the American people. He is the guy who, from the when it first starts, the movie. His, he's the one that saw his mom die, who was a fucking demon. Who came back, who was dead, but came back as a demon. But, I uh, sorry, story, I don't really care. They, they, they go down these caves. Fozzie gets killed by fucking uh, Sarah's dumbass with a fucking sword. And they go in these caves, and then the fucking demons come. Blah, blah, blah. And then she's a realized that she's fucking cut. And at the very fucking last seconds between her and him, because Yoder and them got killed by these stupid dumbass demons, oh, just gently look back and then look at me and then pff, spot your fucking brains in, you dumb fucking retards. But it all started, they, Kevin and, and Sarah leave, but Sarah realizes, oh, 
I'm fucking becoming one of them. Blah, blah, blah. Vomits blood everywhere. And then she fucking flies up like a fucking fairy gilly demon. And she fucking, you turn around where Tevin's just looking distraught. And also, too, she found her brother before that. Uh, that her brother's a fallen demon as well. And then her fucking then turn around. And she looks back at the last shot is she's looking at Jerusalem. There's all these fucking helicopters locking the city. And then all these little, there's thousands of thousands of demons getting let out. And that's the ending. So, precisely, we don't know if Kevin made it alive. We don't, I mean, he did get out of the fucking thing. He did get out of the fucking Jerusalem. So, I don't fucking know. But, she, she, uh, Sarah's gonna die eventually. So, she's a fucking dumb fucking demon. I thought she was just gonna show her, get in the light and burn the death. But no, she just flew up. But, altogether, do not recommend this film. I was gonna give this a ups and down it has some it was a hit and a miss but now looking at it now don't recommend this film and it's definitely not fucking rewatchable that's my opinion about it. sorry it's another shitty review i tell you what the next movie i'm gonna watch we're gonna have i'm gonna go to some regular old school 80 slashers and horror good 80 movies because we're gonna go back to nightmare on the street three dream warriors so stay on the lookout for that but don't see this shit this shit's piss but i'm sds peace